Hi, so if you're a regular watcher of the channel, you'll have seen when we converted a vacuum cleaner to run off batteries to use it as a 12 volt pump. Now, of course, something like that immediately gets you thinking, doesn't it? What else could be converted? What other bits of equipment actually would be relatively easy to convert off a battery? So, because the thing that people want to use a lot of, me included, without being tied to a plug socket, are tools, electrical tools. So I picked a drill, a Black & Decker ordinary plug-in drill, working on the idea that if we could convert a drill, then a whole range of power tools could be converted in exactly the same way. Because the motor in a drill is the same thing that drives a jigsaw, it's the same thing that drives a sander, it's the same thing that drives a circular saw, it's just this huge range of power tools use exactly the same motor setup that you find in a drill. So I thought I'd give it a go, trying to convert a drill to work on a battery. So of course the first thing to do is to take the case off. And the case is only held on by, uh, what is that, eight screws? You remove those eight screws and lever off the case and you get to the inside of the drill. So let me give you a close-up of that. Okay, so here's the chuck attached to this spindle, and there's a big drive gear right there. It's got a worm gear here going to the actual motor. This is clearly the fan. This holds it in place. Here's the motor itself. We've got two coils. There you can see one coil on one side here, then the yoke there. Here is the commutator, and here's the rear bearing. And then we go to the electronics, which is this section here. This is the wire that comes in from the wall socket, and you'll notice there's only a uh, live and a neutral there. And it goes into the switch, and on the switch, if we take the switch out, there we go. We have two wires going up to the motor, which are the positive and the negative. And those two wires, first of all, go into the coil, out to the brushes, other side of the brushes, and back. And of course, the brushes are feeding the armature in the center. And across that switch is a capacitor. So what we need to do is remove that capacitor and remove those two wires. So basically, the switch is removed. There we go. Now, if we just connected that to positive and negative, nothing would happen. What we need to do is put a capacitor across those. So we're going to put that capacitor right back where it came from. Okay, so all I've done is connect that capacitor across that positive and negative, and then I've taken the positive and negative to a DC power supply. Now, if I turn that voltage up, incidentally, I'm holding these to prevent it jumping out. Remember, the top part of the case used to do that. But let me put a bit of DC voltage on that. And there we go. <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple of car batteries there connected in series, so 24 volts. One end is going to my <laughs> drill motor, and the other end's just left dangling. And if I touch that so that we have a contact, Amazing, huh? So we can run an ordinary drill, a plug-in drill, from a couple of batteries, actually. Now, I'm not sure about the talk on there, obviously. I mean, you know, we've just jury-rigged this up. But the idea, I think, is really interesting that power tools can be converted to run off normal DC batteries by very little more than wiring in a couple of wires. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because I found it absolutely fascinating. Of course, I'm going to be trying converting other stuff. Uh, but... It is something to have a look at and something that's interesting, I think. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.